update the object or maybe just we can update the update the function uh, object from here itself so we we'll first type in this, this dot weather and get now we'll give this an object of like city okay sorry it was few parameter and then we are actually taking in the city name guys out here from this iden input element so i will just show you an example for those who have not already seen it i'll just okay i'll just remove this part first and then show you the example Hey guys so as soon as we type in any city name like london or amsterdam if you just go on and click in the search button we see that we can get back the data from the input element so all we have to do is to just return an object containing the city name and the number of count so we'll just put in the city name first so we'll give this a queue parameter because q is actually supposed to stand for the city out here and we'll give this the city name so the city name function uh, variable out here is actually guys that is uh, uh, having the name of the city that is put in the input element so and now we'll just give this a count of like let me just put in 5 so that we can see the different differentiation between 7 and 5 when we do the query So now it's all done, and let's see what happens now. Okay, guys. So we can see that the default city name is London, and it's shown out here. So if I just go on to type like something like New York, and do the search. think this should have been updated sorry actually this dot this dot weather params is equal to return and this thing okay sorry guys so actually this was supposed to be done out here and I think just seems fine. What happened right now? Just put in the equal to. Okay. So now everything should be working fine. Actually, what we are doing out here is that we are referencing this weather params and then passing it this object out here. And now if we just refresh New York, and you can see already that this thing is London. and we we'll just do the search right now and let's see what happens okay so as as soon as we clicked on the search button we saw that this thing has been updated to new york and every every data is also updated so if i just type in okay i'll just first close the console okay so you can see that this city is new york the country is us count is 5 and it is out here rain light rain okay and so i'll just put in a new city name just put in something like like washington okay okay so now this data has again been updated so our weather app is working perfectly fine guys and on the next tutorial what we'll do is that we'll go on to do some something with flickr api and we'll have some uh, data being returned in the form of, of like images and we'll use Uh, all the different type of elements such as iron iron image I, i think it is called in polymer element library and we'll have the different uh, different types of images being displayed along with the card so if it is a uh, clear weather a sun uh, sunshine would be shown and if it is a rainy weather some uh, storm or such kind of photo would be shown out here so definitely stay tuned for the next few tutorials guys and then further on we'll go on to implement implement caching and all so definitely subscribe to the channel and like the videos and if you have any suggestions or 
your own views about this these tutorials please comment in the discussion forum below and thanks